There is a story uh, that we have reported uh, last night from my uh, television show that is up on the blaze. You can grab it, and it is um, it's free. And I urge you to send it to your friends uh, and tweet it and Facebook this uh, story. It is about Bill de Blasio, the frightening truth about New York City's next mayor. He makes Bloomberg look like a Girl Scout. And Pat was just watching it here in the break with me. And um, he said, uh, I mean, you knew that he was a socialist, right? Yeah. You didn't know all this, though, did you? No, no. I mean, I, I didn't know most of that stuff. He is. It's pretty frightening. You you would hope New Yorkers would reject this guy when they find out who he is. He's a guy who says that he wants to make Islam a force in U.S. politics. He is a guy who said that he's a guy who helped fund and fight for the Sandinistas in the 1980s. He says they are an inspiring group that brings a whole new um, concept to the word democracy. He was raised by community organizers. He himself was a community organizer. He is a, a liberation theology. He says he can best be described as a guy who believes in the social, Democrat, the social Democrats of Europe. Those are communists. That's what Putin is. He is a guy who left the Communist Party, took his uniform off, and said, I'm a social Democrat. This is the guy we want all these progressives to be because we want them to say okay here's who I here's am. who i am yeah. he's doing that right now you know new york i so believe, please i believe this is reject him. i believe this is the next to the last step if he wins this is the next to the last step of the democrats just saying who they are because if this guy gets elected he has said this is who i am I'm a European social democrat. That is exactly who Putin is. I am uh, a combination of that, a new dealer under Roosevelt, which is as strong as a progressive as you can get, and a liberation theologist. That's Jeremiah Wright. Now, what the, the only thing that differentiates himself, him from, from our president, is that he admits all that openly. Oh, I, yeah. Even though this president... Is all of that because he went to the Liberation Theologist that's why Church? Say, that's why I say this is the this is the last step before they start. If this guy gets elected in New York, they'll feel free to. They'll say, just be yes, like, you know what? They'll elect us. Yeah. They'll elect us. Anyway. Look at that. They they want it. They did They're it in New York. It. Yeah, and this guy makes Bloomberg look like mm -hmm. Thomas Paine or Thomas Jefferson. It really does. He he'll, he mm -hmm. will make. He said the problem: our government is completely corrupt, which I agree with. Our government is complete, completely corrupt, and we don't do enough to help the poor, and we must maintain high taxes. If you elect him, New York, you're electing a guy who helped fund the Soviets when the Soviets were our enemy. He took his honeymoon over in Cuba with his, with his wife when it was illegal to go to Cuba. How did he do that? He had friends in the Soviet Empire. He is a community organizer, a liberation theologist, and these are all his words. And anything we did to verify, we used the New York Times. So I want you to look at this story and Facebook it and tweet it to everyone you know. It's shocking. Facebook and tweet it. Tell them to do the same thing. This is mm. the, the, what is it, the, uh, the frightening truth about the next New York City mayor.